In this demo, I'll be showing how to create festive text, um, such as that shown right here. To start with, we need to have fireworks for the back of the letters. So I open up an image of some fireworks, which we'll use later on in the demo. Now, we're going to uh, invert the foreground and background colors and create a new tab, a new image. We'll make it 2560 by 1440. Press OK. So now we have a black image. We're going to change the zoom so that we can see the entire image. Right. Now, with white as the foreground, we're going to add some text. Uh, we want a much bigger font and it's something heavy. So we're going to use for this rowdy heavy thin, which I, I like. It's nice and festive. We'll make a thousand pixel size, so these are going to be very large letters. And now we create our, our text box, filling most of the space, and enter the text. Shift the text around by just moving the edges of the text box. Now we need to select the text in the text layer, so we'll switch back to the layers tab and pick the text tab and, and go to the alpha to selection which is now selected now we want to round the corners so we're going to do that by feathering so we go to select and feather and we want to use about 10% uh, of the font size so we did a hundred so there's a thousand pixels and that sort of rounded the corners there. Now we need to create a new layer. So we'll just use this little button down here and make sure it's transparent. Go to OK. And then we're going to use that layer, but we're going to turn off the text so that it is hit, hidden, not deleted. Now we're going to go to the fill, the little bucket fill. And we're going to make sure that it is doing the entire selection. And we're now going to fill it with white. You see how it feathers beyond the edges of the selection. We want to get on the very outside of that selection. So what we're going to use is we're going to use the, uh, the fuzzy select tool, which does by color. And we're going to actually select the transparent part. So we do that now. And that selects all of the transparent part. But there's a space inside the, the O, which doesn't always get done. So we're going to change the fuzzy select to add a little bit more and we'll click on the transparent inside the O. Okay, so now it's all selected, but it's the it's the transparent outside which is selected, and we want the, uh, the text itself. So we're going to fill that. So we need to go to select and invert the selection. Okay, so now we've selected the, the all out to the edges of the, the fuzzy part, and we're going to fill that with white. The next step is to go back to the layers, and we're going to click on the, the text tab uh, so that we can reselect the part that's inside the, the fuzziness with an alpha to selection, and then a select feather. It'll still have the same size, 100. So now we have that selected again. And then what we can do is go back up to the layer where we have the filled in part, and we're going to clear which is going to delete the inside. So now we have the outlines of the letters in white, and the inside is transparent. Now what we need to do is we need to put the fireworks inside those letters. So we switch over, and then we use the clone tool. And we need to get the clone to an appropriate size. In this case, you want it about the width of the letters, maybe a little bit more. And you need to go to the hardness and make sure that it's on 0.75. It usually starts at 0.50. And you go and find a good place to start, variety of stuff in it, and do a control click, mouse click, and that holds onto it. And now you can go back and, and using the mouse, every time you mouse down it starts over, so you can kind of fill in different ways, fill in the inside of the selection letter by letter and again where I don't like it exactly I can go back and I can just 
raise the mouse button and then lower it again and, and try different things until I've got just what I want. So now we have the festive letters. And we're just going to add uh, a background gradient um, to that. So what we're going to do is to use the, the blend tool, but we need to make sure it's on the background. We're going to switch so we have a black foreground and we're going to blend to red. All right, so now we're blending from black to red. We use the blend tool. Now you're going to draw from where you want it to stop being black to where it stops being partially red, red and goes to all red. And then let go. And it just puts on your gradient. So now we have our festive text, and, and that's what it takes to make it happen. Thank you.